Hi, I'm an HVAC technician. Today I'm going to be doing a preventive maintenance check on an air handler that's got a chilled water coil. It's got fan motors, it's got bearings. I'm going to be using this thermal imaging gun. It actually gives me a much broader look at the entire system than just using a thermometer or a temperature gun. With this item I can look at many things at once. I'm going to start over here. I can step back and I can focus in on the, fan, on the pump motor. I can check temperatures of the pump motor. At the same time I can go over. I can check temperatures of the bearing assembly. The bearing assembly could be running hot. The pump could be running hot if it was low on lubrication or if something in this device actually started seizing up. Below it we have our chilled water coil. We have 44 degree chilled water going in. We have 50 degree chilled water going out. So I can see, actually see both of those right in the screen. I can come over here, I can take a picture of the fan motor. If it was running hot, I could take it down and show the customer. Right now the motor is running at about 106 degrees. I can check the front and the back of the motor. There's bearings on both sides, they both seem to be fine. If the motor was running hot, we would be looking for electrical problem or bad bearings in the motor. We could also be looking for a problem with the, bearing, the fan bearings themselves. Right now the fan bearings are running about 100 degrees. If they were going bad or they were losing lubrication, they could be running hot. I can check to see if the belts are running hot. If the belts were slipping, they could be running hot. Um, or if they were actually over tightened, they could also be running hot. Th that would cause more load on the motor and the bearing, causing them to run hot. On the back side of this air handler, I can get a general overview of this fan bearing and the chilled water coil. In a quick shot, I can see that this fan bearing is running at a normal temperature. I can come over. The nice part about the thermal imaging gun on this chilled water coil. I can see several U-bends at a time, whereas with, say, a digital thermometer or laser thermometer, I'd have to check individual tubes one at a time. Here I can see that all the tubes are running blue, which means cold. Um, it's great application to have the thermal imaging gun. Now that I just shut the main off to the air handler, main power, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check the power wiring on the disconnect, on the fuse disconnect. What we can look for here, if we had loose wiring connections, we would be able to pick up high temperature readings on the wiring or the wiring connections or the fuses. So here I'm taking a thermal image of each individual device. This is one of the best applications of the thermal imaging gun. So today with the thermal imaging device on my preventive maintenance check, I was able to get a quick overview of the entire system in just a matter of minutes.